Uh, so yeah, then then the second night, um, I got invited to a YouTube gaming party, and I talked a little bit about it, and they were nice. Didn't really care for the place, however. It was very, very weird. It was like a mixology bar. Hi, can I have a whiskey thing? Yeah, sure, my dude. Here, let me get you a Frisco, okay? It's like a whiskey sour on fresh Appalachian ice, my dude. Check it out! Uh, okay. Like, you get there and they're like, okay, this is a mixology bar, so we encourage you to experiment. It's like, I don't know what I want. Just, just give me a fucking, like... Give me, give me a scotch. All right. Yeah, you're into scotch? All right. Check it out. Scotch with amaretta, right? Totally balances out the flavor. Smoky against woodland. Then we're going to throw it on a little bit of goat testicle. Right? And then we're going to add a little bit of sugar and then a whiskey sour on top of it. My dude. Great. And then you just, you get the drink and it tastes like fucking hot fire. You can make some fucking excellent food. With big hearty radishes, bro. Hey, do you want to try the big hearty radish cocktail? Yeah, it's like a whiskey sour mixed with like a smoky kind of like ribogo flavor. You, know, you never heard of ribogo, bro? Well, that's because you've never been to a mixology bar before. We're like chemists for drinks. D bro, Scro, you gotta check out these drinks that we make. It's like chemistry. They encouraged you to, like, mix, and they're like, You sure you just want a whiskey on the rocks, bro? <laughs> because we've got, like, all this cool stuff. Do you want a sweet vermouth cocktail? Alright. Mixed with a little bit of Chilean bacon. Alright, we'll turn that upside down for about 45 minutes. Put it on fresh shaved ice from the Appalachia Mountains. Right? And then we'll combine that with the tooth of a clown. And a little bit of scotch. Just a little bit. And then you got yourself a bodacious drink, my bro. It's like, no, can I just have a whiskey on the rocks, please? I mean, you could, but, like, we encourage you to experiment. Hello, my scro. Welcome to the mixology bar. What's that? You want a blurpy? All right, cool. Well, it's a combination of Modelo um, with the best ingredients from the Himalaya mountains, followed by a toad's asshole, right? And a little bit of ice, you know, mix it up with a whiskey sour, my scro, and then you turn it all around upside down and you drink it through a straw. And that's the blurpy, okay? Can I have a whiskey? No, 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 no bro, you experiments, bro, bro, you can experiment. Well, that's a pretty righteous meme you've got there. What's that? You want a whiskey? All right. Well, why don't you try a whiskey sour mongolato? Okay. All right. Here's what you do. You take whiskey. You combine it with a little bit of Himalaya salt. All right. Throw that in the blender for 20 minutes. All right. So you're going to be waiting at least 20 minutes for your drink. You take the extract of a piranha plant. Then you go to the Amazon. You catch one of those scrotum leeches. Grind that up in there real good. <laughs> then you get a little Moscato. Right. Combine it with the prime rib of an elk and a little bit of vodka and then you got yourself a Moscato mana 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 can I have a whiskey? no 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 how about this how about we try a different drink one that'll take 30 minutes to mix I just want a drink now you have the whiskey bottle in your hand nah bro check this one out though oh right April Fools good shit good shit my dude Hey, check out this cool whiskey sour drink that I just concocted here. All right, yeah, check it out. It's whiskey mixed with a little bit of basil, right? And then I throw in a little habanero sauce. Combine that with Madari sour, right? And then I get a little shaving of the lemon zest. You know what I'm saying? The rind, the rind. Throw it all in there and you got yourself a Japril Fool's drink. My dude, can I just have a whiskey? No. No, you're gonna have that, or I'm gonna kill you. Uh, I'd rather die. Alright, my dude. Pulls out a gun, shoots him. That's also how you end a Monty Python. Hello, welcome to the Mixology Bar. My name is Briam. How can I help you today? I'm sorry, did you say your name was Briam? Like, 
Brian. You see, Brian's your name, right? N no, my name is Brian. My parents thought that Brian would be a totally cool and purified way to say my name. So it's B R I A M M E M M M. I knew we came to the wrong bar. I knew this was the wrong bar. So, Brian, you're telling me that your name has an M, but there's no Y? Oh no, there's a Y in there too, it's just silent, and you don't actually spell the Y. So there's no Y in your name. No, 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 it's there, it's just silent on paper. So, how do I pronounce it then? Brian! Alright, now you're gonna tell me your name one more time, and if you- if you say Brian, I'm going to shoot you in the forehead. Alright, cool, my dude! What's your name? Brian! Okay, my name is Brian. Alright, there's a G in there, but it's- it's spelled and spoken silently. Hey, welcome to the Mixology Coffee Bar. What could I get you today, my dude? What's the- oh, do you want a venti vulata? How about a mulata? A tie-in for the movie Mulan. Yeah, it's a Szechuan coffee. Made from the finest Szechuan beans. It's a limited time only offer, my dude! Hey bro, welcome to Lionel's, the mixology bar that you've always heard of, but never knew existed. I'll be your host, Grigori. And that's spelled with a Z, but it's silent. So, I've got a vodka skulltini here. Uh, just a vodka please. No, 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 you want a vodka skulltini. It's great. Alright, you start with a little bit of, uh... White Goose Vodka, very, very expensive and artisanal. You mix that, all right, mix that with a little bit of yak fur from a bald yak. Very rare, very, very majestic creatures. We don't harm them. But how is there, how, how do you get the yak fur from a bald yak? All right, that's my little soldier. Okay, then you got to combine that with, the, you know, a little bit of, um, Smegma from a North African lion. I don't think I want that. That's cool, bro. And then finally, the skull of an extinct baboon that goes by the name of Donkey Kong. And we we put it all together and you drink it from the skull. That's why we call it a vodka skulltini, bro.